Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be showing you guys different ways to clean your hijabs. So in this video, I will be talking about three methods to clean your hijab. The first one is spot cleaning, the second one is deep cleaning, and the third is machine washing, which is my favorite because I'm lazy. <laughs> Also, I wanted to mention that this video is in partnership with Culture Hijab, so every single hijab that you see in this video is from their line. I will be linking everything in the description box below. You can also use my code JASMINE10 to shop any of these hijabs. So let's start off with spot cleaning. This is usually the most important method of cleaning because we always get stains when we don't want it to happen. And it's usually when we're out and we don't have access to clean our hijabs in a more thorough way. So knowing how to properly spot clean is really important because you want to remove that stain but you also don't want to damage your hijab by trying weird ways to remove it. I have three ways to spot clean and I normally kind of go between those three depending on what kind of stain it is. If I have a tough foundation stain on my hijab, we all get the ones that happen like right over here, especially when we're wearing our hijab tighter on our face. So if you're looking to remove that makeup stain the first way you could do that is by using the exact same thing that you use to remove your own makeup on your face which is makeup remover I'm gonna stress this big time in this video make sure your makeup remover is oil free because if you choose a makeup remover that has oils in it which is a lot of makeup removers by the way you will make the stain even worse than before and it will be so tough to remove and you won't achieve anything. So make sure your makeup remover that you're using to remove these stains is oil free. As an example, I have the oil free eye makeup remover um, liquid from Neutrogena. This one's a good one, but you can use any brand as long as it's oil free. That's all that really matters. And what you also need in order to do this spot cleaning method is a pack of spoolies. I'll be linking everything in the description box just in case you don't know where to grab it. You can head over to the links down there and you'll have everything you need. Look who decided to join me. Hi, Flocky. Hi. Okay, bye. Okay, back to business. The reason why you need spoolies is because you don't wanna use a towel or tissue or paper towel, whatever it is. You don't wanna use that with the makeup remover and try to rub the stain off because essentially what you're doing is pushing the stain further into the fabric and you're smearing it all over the place. So using a spoolie is super precise and it also brushes and picks up the product at the same time so that it doesn't end up deeper into your fabric. So I definitely recommend and trying a spoolie if you're finding that your spot cleaning is not working. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick demonstration of how I use this method just so you guys can get a better idea of how it works. using makeup remover and this is with makeup remover wipes. I have the Kirkland makeup remover wipes here and they work really really great. So you can also use makeup remover wipes in order to remove your stain. They just don't do as good of a job as using a spoolie and some makeup remover liquid, but they are still good and they're easy to keep in your bag. Um, they will definitely make your stain less noticeable. That's always better than just leaving the stain as is. Finally, if you have a food stain, makeup remover wipes and makeup remover liquid are not really going to work for you. You can definitely try that method, but it might not really help. But another method is is to carry one of these guys, which is the tie to go They're great little stain remover pens that you can keep in your purse. Anytime you drop your fries and you land ketchup directly on your hijab, you can go at it with this pen and it will pretty much remove most of the stain. You may have a little bit of like a shadow left behind, but it's way better than having a big blob of ketchup on your hijab. Before I move on though, I wanna stress that when you're spot cleaning, try in areas that are very easy to hide. You don't wanna use a method and then and end up with a bigger problem. Definitely do a patch test in an area that can't really show, maybe on the tip of the hijab all the way at the end or an area that you tuck inside your shirt. 
just to make sure that nothing stains and it dries evenly. Um, I would definitely recommend doing that before you go ham and start spot cleaning and ruin your favorite hijab. Every fabric is a little different. Some fabrics take spot cleaning better than others, so make sure you do a patch test first to find out what you're dealing with and if your spot cleaning method works or if you have to try another one. Moving on to the next method of cleaning, it is deep cleaning because you want to keep your hijabs fresh you want to keep them in good condition and that means taking care of them and cleaning them properly so definitely do a deep clean it helps with the longevity of the hijab and they last so much longer when you take good care of them so for a deep clean i like to hand wash my hijabs in cool water the reason why i say cool water is because it really helps preserve the condition of the hijab it also really helps preserve the color of the hijab which is really important especially if you're working with darker colors you don't want it to bleed all in to the water and potentially ruin other hijabs that you're washing with it and as well make it lighter than what it was originally so make sure you're always using cool water when you're washing your hijab so when it comes to hand washing your hijabs you can either do it the mild form or you can do it the deep cleaning form if you want to do the mild form you can definitely use baby shampoo or baby soap i have one here as an example this is the johnson's bar of soap and this is great because it is a bar form and you can lather it up and address the stain before you soak it in but if you'd like a more deep clean that breaks up all those sweat stains and oil stains and whatever you want to address you can definitely use dish soap dish soap does a great job at breaking down oils and obviously we use it to break down grease while we're doing our dishes so it does do a great job on the hijabs but make sure to not put a lot, literally the smallest amount does an amazing job. Both of these methods, you have to hang dry the hijab. I wouldn't recommend throwing it into a dryer because it will shrink the hijab or potentially damage the shape of the hijab. I've been in so many situations where I've just thrown it into the dryer because I've been lazy and then the hijab turns out like longer on one side, shorter on the other, or it becomes super wrinkly or it just shrinks all together and you don't want that so hang dry your hijabs that's the best option i know that some of you guys appreciate seeing things visually so i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how i deep clean the hijabs as well machine washing your hijabs this is definitely the easiest way to go about cleaning your hijabs and it's probably the way that i choose the most often using the washing machine is an option but you just have to be very careful when you do this you want to choose a delicate setting um, you want to make sure that it's cold water again and you do not want to put it into the dryer sometimes throwing your hijabs into the washing machine doesn't fully take the stains out so if you have a tough stain that's not really going away by just throwing your hijabs into a washing machine you can definitely use a product like this this is the oxyclean laundry pre-treat stain remover um, this one really helps by spraying the area that you have the toughest stain on um, just saturating it and then throwing it into the washing machine and again i'm going to show you guys a quick demonstration on how i do that
guys have seen my top three methods of cleaning my hijabs. Again, there are so many ways to clean your hijab. My only rule is to make sure that you are gentle with your hijabs and always do a patch test. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah. Bye.